Who's the goose that's on the loose? Gustarian. <laughs> where are your sandwiches? Is where are they gone? Gustarian. Is he here? Like Is he there? Oh my god, he's wearing somebody's hair. Yeah, <laughs> he's the goose that's on the loose. Gustarian. <laughs> <laughs> and then Gustarian <laughs> bursts through the screen and goes, that's, that's me, <laughs> honk. That's me. <laughs> honk, like that. Uh, hello, it's Astarian. Get up. I said, get the fuck up. My God, it's so lazy. Just like Gail. Get out of bed and get up. It's the morning. Listen, I might be a vampire that's been away from the sun for 200 years and I can actually now walk in it thanks to a tadpole that's induced my mind. But even I don't rest in. Get the fuck up. Good, you're half awake, you're like a fucking zombie. All right, now st step to the, the bathroom. Yeah, no, keep going. No, that's not the bathroom, that's the closet. Out of the closet. <laughs> Out of the closet. Out of, no, the other way. Not back to bed. Jesus. <sighs> Hell's below. Good, you're back on your feet again, whether you know it or not. Head to the bathroom, pick up the, yeah, that's right. The ta No, don't drop it. No, that's the toilet. No, that's not the sink. You know what? Good luck. Gather your party, venture forth, and, well, I don't know, get somebody to cast guidance on you or something. Up is for Lenny. Please write the poem the way a starian would. Roses are red, violets are blue. I like killing people. How about you? <laughs> Hello, I'm Neil Newborn, and I play possibly the greatest vampire in the world, Astarian. Hello, darling. <laughs> Too natural, now. Oh, I know. It's, it's a bit weird, isn't it? It's, isn't it? I know, it's very accessible, it's terrifying. I actually have his giggle now. <laughs> okay, um, in, in perfect, perfect orcish, yeah. I'm going to say, Oh, my man, so you're the perceptive type, yes? <laughs> oh. Then you know that my friend and I are not to be trifled with. Ah. Mm. He just looks and back in Orcus he says, You are correct, but neither am I. Let's not cause trouble for each other, perhaps. Agreed. Okay. And he like nods. He's like, terribly nice, actually. Yeah, like that <laughs> wouldn't melt. Go on. Since we're scrumping, yeah. Uh, yeah. do you want to give me half of that, maybe? I don't know what you're talking about, though. It's for the greater good. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you've called yeah, me, you just tell me. Well, now scrumping. that you mention it. <laughs> All right, I, well, the, uh, what I'm trying to explain to, what I'm explaining to you is mm. that I'm going to use this as bribe money. Uh, oh, I'm so, sure you will. Oh, God. Fine, here you go. Don't spend all at once. Nice. Alright, so we'll That reminds me of the old days on right. the Gortash. Uh, darling, a big part of self esteem is really about opinions and. The most important opinion about who you are, how you are, and whether or not you're worth it is your own. Seriously, before anybody else on this planet, how do you feel about you? And if it's not great, well, darling, you've got to love yourself. You've got to say to yourself, I'm worth it. I'm a human being, I'm unique, and I deserve everything good in my life. So, say it. I'm unique. I love myself. I deserve it all. Not bad, no? Give it another try, darling, a bit later on. Let it sink in. Here's the thing. Other people have opinions about you. Other people will judge you. Other people will laugh at you. And some people will love you and champion you and cheer for you, darling. And those are called friends, aren't they? So you need to find your true friends. A lot of people masquerade, wearing a mask about a veneer of being friendly with you. And a lot of the time, they're not. However, some of the time, they are. And that's the tricky thing about life. You have to work it out, I'm afraid. There's no real rule book, and there's no real manual. However, if you are feeling down about your body image, darling, for goodness sake, you're beautiful. Don't worry about it. Oh, hello. My name's Astarian. You must be Alison. This is very strange, but I've just done another message for an Alison. Don't think it's you, but it could be. 21 on the 23rd. Maybe it is. Do you know somebody called Brandon? I've said too much. Oh dear. <laughs> anyway, if it isn't you, disregard all of that. This is from Tara and Abby. Yes, Tara and Abby. I know them rather well. We've had a wonderful series of dinners. Bites to eat. Snacks, let's say, in Baldur's Gate. They talk a lot about you when they're murmuring and dribbling all over the floor. Sometimes the fun gets a bit too um, much for them, let's say. Anyway, they said you are a fantastic...
fantastic lover of all things beautiful, naturally my name came up, Bao, thank you, and uh, that you're very interested in all the quests I've been on recently. Well, I can tell you, it's been rather exciting. Yes, fighting monsters, saving things. Yeah, that sort of thing. I'm not really good at this. Hero stuff, you know? More of dark brooding in the corner and the shadows. Although now I can step into sunlight. Won't bore you with it, long story. Terribly exciting, but quite boring, though, at the same time. So that's it. I want to wish you a happy birthday, if I haven't already. And I hope you have a smashing time watching something called Twilight. Sounds like a romantic comedy. What fun. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. So, with that, much love to you, darling. Have a fantastic birthday on your 21st birthday. On the 23rd, I think. You mayflies and your fleeting lives. I guess every year counts. Have a fantastic time. Gather your party and venture forth. And I might see you in Baldur's Gate. Oh, by the way, tell Tara and Abby... Well, you know what? I'll just call them. Bye, darling. Go, Aye, more passion, more passion, more passion, more energy, more energy, more footwork, more footwork, more footwork, more passion, more energy, more... Love Astarium. Ah, little vampire boy. Uh, next up is for Natasha. <clears throat> this is for Natasha. We write something romantic with a little bit of naughty and a pet name if that's okay. Oh, I can do that. Careful, I bite. Cheeky little pup. Let me do that. Um, so that's for Natasha. That sort of fills all the cr criteria of what you demand. <laughs> Why won't you work? Um, cheeky little pup. Careful. I bite. I told you yesterday the thing that happens when you you uh, click on him, right? One of his um, one of his sort of AD responses is, "Don't touch me." <laughs> <laughs> I just think it's fucking brilliant. It's very breaking the fourth wall, which I dig a lot. There you go. Cheeky little pup. Careful. I bite. Uh, that's it. Yeah. Thanks very much. That is for Natasha. Thank you, Natasha. Have I stabbed you? No. Then I'm being nice. <laughs> well, hello. My name's Astarian, and you must be Alina. Hello, ah! Alina. Now, a little birdie told me we won't mention names. <laughs> and off they go in their black and white glory. Anyway, they told me, whoever they are, that apparently you're wonderful. And you do an amazing job of having a wonderful community around you that really enjoys their stream and you playing in the game. And you should be playing it more often. And why haven't you finished? Anyway, I'm not going to say anything about this wonderful, wonderful game I've heard so much about. I'm just going to say that I've heard incredible things about certain pale vampire types. You know, not an emo. Fucking goth. Not emo. Anyway, the point is that you should be enjoying yourself in the city of Baldur's Gate. I'll be there. Why don't we go for a bite to eat, darling? I'm in the most secluded place. Shadowy, no questions asked, for the right amount of gold. You're paying, though. <laughs> yes, I'm being serious, you're paying. So, that's it, darling. A wonderful to beat you. 
uh, Alina. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Alina. Yes. <laughs> <That's laughs> <enough, isn't it? laughs> Alina. Um, sorry, just sort of testing my teeth. Anyway, um, I'm going to go off, but it's been lively to talk to you, darling, and I hope to see you for a bite soon. Gather your party, venture forth, and for God's sake, play the bloody game. Alina. What the fuck? What the fuck? I'm going to... Wasn't it? Alina. I don't... Oh, Alina. Yes, it's quite a mouthful, isn't it? Alina. Um, I'm only gonna need to listen to these two clips over and over again. And I'm gonna fucking... fucking have to stop the stream and... I don't know, bro. Oh my god, bro. Ain't no way. Ooh. So this guy is the voice actor of my boyfriend. This guy. Yes, darling. <laughs> 